Welcome little friends, happy Sabbath. Thank you for joining us today. Make sure you have your Bibles like I do with you so that you can be ready to follow our story for today. So before we continue, we are going to sing a song. Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you Lord, for the wonderful fall season that you have given us, the autumn, and how beautiful are the trees. Thank you for the Bible stories also that you have given us. Thank you for the letter, your Bible, and how we can talk to you every time we pray to you. And please bless the story for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today's Bible story is called Jesus, the Friend of Sinners. It will teach us that Jesus can forgive our sins, and He has promised to forgive us when we tell Him that we are sorry. Today's memory verse is found in Mark chapter 2, verse 7. The Bible says, Who can forgive sins but God alone? Can you do it? Who can forgive sins but God alone? <laughs> Who can forgive sins but God alone? Perfect, everyone. I hope you little friends can do it also. Jesus had healed many sick people, yet even healed a leper. Wow. And made the man's skin healthy again. Hmm. By healing the leper, Jesus wanted to show that he had power to forgive sins. Hmm. One day, Jesus gave another lesson about forgiveness. He was at Peter's house in Capernaum, and as soon as the people heard that he had come, they hurried to see him. They crowded around Jesus until the whole house was full, and no more people could get in. They gathered around the windows and the doors, eager to see and hear Jesus. Wow. Let's see what happened next. In Mark chapter 2, verse 2. Immediately, many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door. So they crowded around the, the living rooms, the kitchen, mm -hmm. the everything. The little like, house was full. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the windows, the doors, and he preached the word to them. There was one man who couldn't go to hear Jesus mm -hmm. because he was paralyzed. What does that mean? Well, it means that he couldn't move his arms or his legs. You know, when you want to move your arm, you, your mind just tells your arm to move and it starts going. But if he wanted to grab something, he would try to use his hand, but his hand wouldn't move. Hmm, sad, sad. Mm -hmm. He had been sick like that for a long time, and the doctor said that he would never walk again. How sad he must have felt mm, that he yes. would never walk again. Yes, that would be very sad to hear from the doctor. But what made things even worse was that he knew that his sickness had happened because he had been so wicked. Hmm. He was sorry for doing the wrong things. But when he talked to the Pharisees about it, 
They said that God would never forgive him. How sad he must have felt again. Mm -hmm. Their cruel words made him feel very sad and hopeless. Did those men tell the truth? Nope. What is God like? Let's look in Psalms chapter 103 and we'll look at verse 2, 3 and verse 13. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgives all of our iniquities, who heals all of our diseases. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Hmm. How kind Jesus is. Yes. He's very mm -hmm. kind to his children that love him. Yes. yes. Jesus was teaching at Peter's house, right? Mm -hmm. So many people had come to hear him, but one man had to stay home because he couldn't walk. The paralyzed man, this man that couldn't walk, had already heard about Jesus, mm -hmm. so he knew a little bit about him. His friends had told him that Jesus had helped other people who had sinned and were as sick as he was. Mm. His hopes were bright now in his heart. They said that Jesus had even healed a leper. His friends helped him believe that Jesus could heal him too. Mm. There might be help for you. Yes. And he thought in his heart, there might be help for me. The paralyzed man couldn't stop thinking how Jesus could help him now. <laughs> But when he remembered why he was so sick, he was afraid that Jesus wouldn't want to be near him. Mm -hmm. He didn't know that Jesus was the best friend that a sinner can have. Like the title says, yes. Jesus is the friend of sinners. That means like Jesus what? loves the sinners. Yes. Like you and me, we are sinners. We are sinners and mm -hmm. he's our friend. Yes. So let's see what the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Wow, he wants to save people yes. mm -hmm. because the pestilence, the punishments are coming soon. But he wants to save all the people that he made. He loves us. He loves all of them. The sick man really wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to walk again, but what he wanted most of all was to know that God had forgiven his sins. Aww. He thought to himself, if I could just see Jesus and know that my sins are forgiven, then I will be happy to live or die. Wow. The sick man couldn't wait much longer because if he didn't see Jesus soon, he would die. So when he heard that Jesus was at Peter's house, he begged his friends to carry him over there. The paralyzed man believed that Jesus was the only one who could help him. He wanted to be healed. But most of all, he wanted Jesus to forgive his sins. So he asked his friends to take him to Jesus. They picked him up on his bed and carried him to Peter's house, then the place where Jesus was. When they arrived, there was a huge crowd of people in and around the house, like around the, the porches, around the windows, around the roads, all over the place. Mm -hmm. Wow, they couldn't even get close enough to hear Jesus' voice. Again and again they tried to get through the crowd, but no one would make room for them. Hmm. The sick man felt terrible. Poor thing. Was there any way to see Jesus? How could he give up when Jesus was so close? He must persevere. Mm -hmm. We must persevere. Then he had an idea. He asked his friends to carry him up to the roof of Peter's house. What did the man do next? Mark chapter 2. Let's read in Mark chapter 2, verse 4. Can you read it, Mom? Sure. 
And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where wow. he was. <laughs> so when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. Wow. That's a good idea. <laughs> Instead of like, like trying to go through the crowd and shouting, excuse me, excuse me, I need to go through the crowd. Well, That's good true. idea for that man. <laughs> Can you imagine how surprised the people in the house were as they saw a sick man coming down on his bed through a hole in the ceiling? <laughs> Why wow. wow, a surprise? But Jesus wasn't surprised. He knew all about that man, that he wanted to be healed. He wanted to be healed of Satan's power. Well, he knew that the man was truly sorry for sinning mm -hmm. and believed that Jesus could help him. Jesus stopped teaching and looked lovingly into the sad face of the sick, dying man. What did Jesus say to him? Verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Wow, that's wonderful. That's what he wanted to hear most of all. After Jesus had said, Son, your sins are forgiven, his sadness was gone. His face was happy. He was smiling. Peace had come upon his mind and his heart. His body didn't hurt anymore. Mm. And he quietly laid in his bed in front of Jesus, happy to know that his sins were forgiven. But the Pharisees who heard what Jesus said were not happy. They thought, who can forgive sins but God? Why does this man speak blasphemies? It is true that only God can forgive sins. And since Jesus is God, he can forgive sins. That's right. But the Pharisees did not want to believe that Jesus mm. is God. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Did Jesus know what those men were thinking? Yep. Oh, yes, he did. What did he say to them? Let's see what he said to them in Mark chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. But immediately when Jesus saw in his spirit that they reasoned thus within themselves, he said to them, Why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, arise, take up your bed and walk? Hmm. Jesus wanted them to know that he is God and that his words are powerful. Yes. By saying just a few words, he could take away the man's sickness. And it's just as easy for him to say a few words and forgive the man's sins. Wow. And just like that, he wants to forgive us as well. Mm. When we say, I'm sorry, he forgives us. Let's see what happened next in Mark chapter 2, verses 10 through 12. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go home. Immediately he arose and took up his bed and went out in the presence of them all so that all were amazed and glorifying God saying, Wow, we, we have never, never seen it like this. Wow, everyone was happy and it was like amazing. That day I mm. would have wanted to be there. Yes, me too. How loving Jesus is. How wonderful that he can and will forgive people who are sorry for their sins. What an amazing power he has. There was a lot of happiness when that man went back to his house. His whole family praised God. Oh, how they all loved Jesus. Wow. This reminds me of a song that says, Oh, how I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can sing that also. At the time when Jesus lived, the Jews were not in charge of their own nation. Another nation, called the Romans, told them what to do and made them pay money called taxes. Hmm. That's what we have nowadays. We have tax 
taxes. <laughs> yes, we're all under such regulations too. The men who collected the taxes for the Romans were called publicans, wow. and the Jews hated both Romans and publicans. Wow. Hmm. They thought that publicans were some of the worst sinners. Well, but Jesus loved them all. Yes. It was true that many of the publicans were not honest. Mm -hmm. When they collected taxes, they made the people pay too much money. The mm -hmm. money that they should not even be telling the people to give them. That's mm -hmm. called stealing nowadays. <laughs> mm -hmm. They overcharged the people. Mm -hmm. And that was stealing. Then they kept the money they stole for themselves in their pocket. Wow! Mm -hmm. One of the publicans was named Levi Matthew. Wow! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people thought that Levi Matthew was a terrible sinner, but Jesus knew that he wanted to do what was right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Levi Matthew had listened to Jesus as he taught the people, and he was sorry for his sins. Wow, that reminds me of the book of the Bible that is called Matthew. Yes, that's it. To be sorry for your sins means that you repent, mm -hmm. that you regret that you have done those bad things mm -hmm. and you don't want to do them again and you mm -hmm. stop and you ask Jesus to help you and you don't do them again. That's what that means. Oh, how he wished that Jesus would help him. But Levi Matthew didn't even think of trying to talk to Jesus because he was sure that Jesus would ignore him like the Pharisees did. Levi Matthew was very afraid to go see Jesus. But one day, as Levi Matthew was collecting taxes, he saw Jesus walking toward him. Mm. I just imagine the thoughts that came to his mind. Then Jesus comes close to him. Here he goes and tells him, follow me. And Levi Matthew couldn't have been more happy, more surprised. Mm. Let's see what he did in Luke chapter 5, verse 28. So he left all and arose and followed him. That was a happy day, most of all. This whole lesson is about happiness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How wonderful his desire so deep had become true. You know, when we see Jesus, when we get to see Jesus in heaven, hmm. we're just going to cast our crowns to his feet hmm. and bow down and worship him because he's so loving, he's so kind that he saved us. And so that's what Matthew's reaction was. He had no words but to leave everything and follow him. What do you think Levi Matthew loved the most? His money? Jesus! Or Jesus, yes. Because he's coming again, and in the clouds he's going to come, and how nice it will be. Yes. Do our choices reflect that we love Jesus? Hmm. Do your choice, friends, little friends, reflect that you love Jesus? When Jesus asked Levi Matthew to be one of his disciples, Many people were not happy, especially the Pharisees. Mm. They were angry that Jesus had chosen a publican to be one of his disciples. But the publicans were very excited. Of course. They could tell that Jesus loved them. And for the first time, there was a teacher who wanted to help them learn about God and how to obey his law. The publicans knew that they needed help and they gladly listened to Jesus. Levi Matthew was so happy to be Jesus' disciple that he made a special feast for just Jesus! Wow. He invited many of his friends to come too. Eagerly, the other publicans and sinners crowded around Jesus, listening carefully to his words and asking him questions. Were the Pharisees happy when they heard what Jesus was doing? Mm -hmm. No. Let's look in Luke chapter 5, verse 30. And their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Let's see how Jesus answered them in verse 31 and 32. 
Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Wow. Do sick people need a doctor? Yes. Do sinners need a savior? Yes. And Jesus is the savior. So that's why he was helping sinners. And many of the people who knew they were sinners welcomed Jesus' help. But did the Pharisees think of themselves as sinners? Not at all, right now. And that is why they didn't want Jesus' help. Matthew became one of Jesus' best workers in copying Jesus' example in everything. How happy he was that Jesus is the friend of sinners and that Jesus had forgiven his sins. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have our conclusion. Wow, Jesus is so wonderful. He forgave the paralytic. He healed him too. And then he forgave Matthew. He called Matthew not just to copy him, but to be his disciple and to reach others for him. And he wants us to say, I am sorry, so that he can forgive us as well. Jesus is the friend of sinners. Today's memory verse is found in Mark chapter 2, verse 7. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Who can forgive sins but God alone? That's what the Pharisees were thinking in their mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> Who can forgive sins but God alone? Well, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we pray, Father, that you would search our hearts. And we pray, Father, that you would help us to say, I am sorry for the wrong things that we have done. And we thank you for your promise that you will forgive us when we confess our sins. Please bless us this Sabbath day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're going to sing Oh How I Love Jesus in the goodbye song. And now we're going to say Happy Sabbath. Bye-bye. We wish you a happy Sabbath.
Happy Sabbath.